trying to get the shower started. Rich is going to climb up and see if he can't fix that. So this is where we live. Well, here's some of the damage from the wind besides that piece of flashing. This grommet's ready to pull off. This grommet right there, already pulled off. It's kind of like in suspended animation. It's frozen. Wow, that's kind of funny, but not funny. Everything else seemed to hold pretty good. Today's the first warm day that we have a chance to get out here. So Rich is going to climb up. We're gonna to try to move the ladder over and uh, see if he can't fix that. All right. We could possibly use these as like a tap con. Wow. Your drill bit just fell in the snow and you lost it. I mean, how deep could it have gone? Well, I don't know. You Did saw it, it fall. I heard it, I didn't see it. Oh, there it is. You got it. Wow. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, honey, I just noticed some, noticed some grommets over there that pulled out. Yeah, good. Lucky, lucky me. Don't look. I'm sorry. I'm not dealing with grommets. Okay. Hopefully we don't get any more wind because it's not good. That one's like literally suspended above the snow. Yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> that was one that's needed. Yes, I know. And now Maybe ready to go. that's what. Yes. Maybe we could um, do a bunch, like grab it in a bunch. Yep. Somebody also said put a rock in it and tie it around it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful in the sun. All right, we're gonna move the ladder. I'm coming, honey. Everything's a sheet of ice. Yank with all your might on this ladder to try and get it to pull away from the house. Push, push. Push or pull? Pull. Get it off the house. Oh. It's not moving. Oh, it's got to hit the big snow. Oh, it went right down my back. Can you help me get the snow out of my back? Honey. One way or another, you got to lift it off okay. that house. Ready? Why can't it move? It's frozen in the ground. Yeah, I thought it would pull out. Definitely miscalculated how strong ice can be. Mm. We love you. Love you too. Safety first. Safety first. The house is not important. You are. Should have been higher. Really? All right, let's do it higher then. Come back down, it's easy. Too late. No. You push it up after I get up. I can't do that. No, I think you should come down. No, that's the right height. No, it ain't. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. All right, how much higher? One. Why can't I get it? You can get it. How's that? How's that? Looks good. Did it lock in? Yeah, it's locked. Made it. We made it through another 
trip on the roof. Do you have a snow bowl in your hand? Yes, I do. Oh, no, no, no. I'll stand behind the camera. No. <laughs> Just stand off the camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do I feel like a girl? Wait, you have to do no. that. No. <laughs> Honey, it's every very that you're on the roof causes me so much anxiety Very and stressful stress. for her. We just realized we never put the piece of trim on the top of the door. So Richie's gonna quick caulk it and put the trim piece on top. Welcome into our dome. Christmas is over. New Year's is almost here. There's our stairs. They're actually pretty cool. He did a really nice job. Just take a little walk up the stairs. That fan there is doing a great job at helping to keep the heat circulated through the dome. It's kind of a mess up here, and Richie's working on the blower ERV that goes down into our bedroom and it goes to the living room. It is a beautiful day. Richie just climbed down from the roof. We've had a lot of problems with condensation. I think that's what we've realized the problem is, is condensation. We're doing our best to keep the dome fairly warm. We're keeping it about 49 degrees. We're going through a lot of wood. but it's working out pretty good. That's Richie slamming doors down there. Oh, here he comes up the stairs. What are you doing up here? Just giving a little tour. Checking out my handiwork? Yeah, you've done a great job. A lot of people commented to make sure that the PEX is not touching the concrete. And I'm looking here and- It's not pretty. It's definitely touching the concrete. And so is the heating pipe. We plan on putting some foam insulation over all these. Keep the hot water hotter longer. Okay, that's, that's a good idea. It looks really good. So you're just gonna finish up the ERV. We have to go shopping and get a few more tees and elbows. Yeah, this is only temporary because I didn't have what I needed to make it right. Yeah, that's on the list. And uh, yeah, so there's more to do here. Oops, careful. The ceiling will get you every time. Let's take a look out this back window quick. I showed the view out the front. Let's look out this one. This is, this is going to be a bathroom closet combo. From here, we can see down our driveway. You can see the garage, the future chicken coop. Richie was literally just over my head. Honey, is that a mosquito? Looks like a bug, yeah. It's a mosquito. What on earth is a mosquito doing right here, right now? All right, let's go downstairs. So we have to make railings and things, but that's not our priority right now. What do you mean a piece of wood came off? Well, the, that he's holding the plastic in with. You see it? You could trip on that. Oh, yeah, that's dangerous. Hmm. Okay. The stairs are gorgeous. Yeah, they're nice. 
So yeah, between the baseboard heat, the sun, and the wood stove right now, we're at 51 degrees. And the passive solar definitely works really well. We're going through a lot of wood with the wood stove, but we're trying. It, it burns it pretty quickly. Yeah. But everything's working pretty good. The solar system is working as planned. As soon as that sun comes out, these batteries charge up quick. We have 83.33 amps going into the batteries right now. 4,730 watts. And it's not even noon yet. Nope. It's not even at full yep. potential. We got over 5,000 watts coming in. And that's the way it's supposed to work. Yeah. Right? And the batteries I mean, were at what? 60% this morning? 55% this morning. And that was about... I don't know, less than two hours ago, an hour and a half. Best. So they charged quick. Yep. We have a 6400 watt system with 16,200 watts of lithium iron phosphate batteries. The system is working good. Yeah. We have a refrigerator and we have a stove. You want me to plug it in? Yep. Oh. There's your center burner under there. Yay. Nice. I'm cooking pancakes, Kathy. I want some pancakes. <laughs> see it? I see orange. Yeah, that means there's a there's a fire, fire under there. Right there. Oh, yeah, feel some heat. We can cook, and then eventually we'll give a wall here. Just cooked dinner. In the dome. <laughs> it works phenomenally well and we're super happy so far. So kitchen is gonna come after the bathroom. And we were working in here the other day with the plumber because he was doing the gas and we just need a part for the gas dryer. And we'll get that finished up. You wanna show them where we live now? This is where we live. Look at our little welcome mat. <laughs> And this is it. It's three times the size of our trailer, four times the size of the trailer. Probably, right? It's toasty warm in here. We have three sources of heat. Well, four. We could open the vents from the wood stove over there. We have an electric heater down there. We have the baseboard heat all the way on that side along the wall. And we have Mr. Heater hooked up to a propane tank. So we have a lot of options for staying warm. And it is actually really cozy. We have nothing on right now and it's 60.4 degrees in here. We're doing well in here. We have a little table and chairs set up. <laughs> this is sort of our bathroom kitchen. We're, we're brewing some hot water right now to make some Swiss Miss with uh, peppermint schnapps. This is our only working sink, hot and cold running water. We have a real flush toilet. Don't have to carry a bucket. And Richie's been working hard. We're trying to get the shower done. Richie's trying to make a curved wall for the bathroom. We're trying to get the shower started. And uh, you trace the template and uh, tried to get it done right. Trying it's not find, easy. Trying to find the line. I mean, it's hard because of the radiator and stuff. So that wall he's making right now is for this wall right here that goes next to the toilet. He's got to cut the little spot for the pipe down there. And he said that this post isn't really as straight as we would have liked it to be. So that's for this wall. The reason we need to put the wonder board on this wall, the red part of the wonder board will face in here because this is a cubby for soap and this is a cubby for soap as well. So we're trying to make sure that, you know, we have everything waterproofed as best as we can.
can't wait to finish that shower. Yeah. Definitely. Check out our $25 door. Yeah. Nice, right? They're great. They really are. And that window, a lot of light comes through that window into this bathroom. It's fantastic. And we realize a lot of light comes from upstairs. So we might do a solar light tube up to the attic to get some light down in here, which would be really cool. Yeah, not that hard to do either. No, not at all. It'll be great. So that's it. This is our home sweet home. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you on the next video. We sprung a leak. That's a huge puddle of water. Through to form, we realized another problem. Oh boy, that didn't take too long, did it? <laughs>